Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 22nd question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section B where each question is of 2 marks. Now this question has an OR question as well. So we are going to discuss both the questions in this video. Now the 22nd question is from the polynomials chapter. If alpha and beta are zeros of x square minus x minus 2, form a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1. Now they have given a hint to us that alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial. So let us try to relate the zeros with the coefficients of the given polynomial. So let us begin by writing the coefficient of x square first. So a is the coefficient of x square, since there is no number, it becomes default 1. And b is the coefficient of x, and here in this case it is negative 1. And c is the constant. So in this given polynomial, it is going to be negative 2. So these are the coefficients of this given quadratic polynomial. Now let us relate the zeros to the coefficients by writing the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. Now the sum of zeros is given by the formula alpha plus beta is equal to relating it to the coefficients it's going to be minus b over a and for product of zeros alpha times beta is equal to c over a. Now we have found out the values of a, b, c so let us find the zeros first. So it's going to be minus b is going to be minus 1 over a is 1. So here negative of negative 1 gives us positive 1 and 1 over 1 is 1. So we got the sum of the zeros as 1. Now similarly let us find the product of zeros. So here c value we have is negative 2 and a value is 1. So negative 2 over 1 we get it as negative 2. So we got the product of the zeros. Now using this sum of zeros and product of zeros we will try to find the equation of quadratic polynomials for these given zeros. So we have written here sum of zeros for these two. We have added 2 alpha plus 1 plus 2 beta plus 1. And for product of zeros, we have just taken the product or multiplication of these two zeros. Now let us further start solving this. So here we can take 2 alpha plus 2 beta. Let me take it together plus 2 beta. And here 1 plus 1, we get it as 2. Now here we can factorize this by taking 2 common out, so 2 and in the bracket you have alpha plus beta plus 2. Now this alpha plus beta we have got the value from the previous sum of zeros which was 1. So substituting here we get 2 times 1 plus 2 and this will be 2 plus 2 which is 4. So we got the sum of zeros for the second quadratic polynomial as 4. Now let us move on to the product of zeros. So we are going to expand these brackets that is 2 alpha times 2 beta that is going to give us 4 alpha beta and then we have 2 alpha times 1 so that is going to give us 2 alpha plus now 1 times 2 beta gives us 2 beta plus the final one is 1 times 1 gives us 1. Next 4 times now alpha times beta we had got the value for the previous case which was negative 2. So here we are going to substitute negative 2 plus now again we are going to factorize this 2 we are going to take it common out and in the bracket remains alpha plus beta plus 1. Now further solving this 4 times negative 2 gives us negative 8 plus 2 times alpha plus beta we are going to make use of this value 1 from the previous zeros plus 1. So this is going to be negative 8 plus 2 plus 1 which is going to be negative 5. So we got the sum of zeros and product of zeros of the second quadratic polynomial. Now here we are going in a reverse way that is zeros are given and we are going to find the equation of the quadratic polynomial. So there can be n number of quadratic polynomials which can have these zeros. That is why we are going to write it in a generalized way. So let me write the general form of the quadratic polynomial here. So here we have written the generalized form that is k times 
x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of the roots. This k represents n number of equations that can have these roots. So here we have written k is any non-zero real number. In short, writing it as x square minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha beta. That is for sum of roots and product of roots. So let us write here k times in the bracket we have x square minus alpha plus beta we got it as 4 that is sum of zeros. So 4x and alpha beta we got it as negative 5. So minus 5. So this is the equation of the quadratic polynomial having these two roots. And remember that there can be n number of equations that can have those two roots. So it has been multiplied by k. Now let us move on to the next OR question. Now the OR question is also from the polynomials chapter. If alpha and beta are the zeros of f of x equal to 2x square plus 5x plus k, such that alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta is equal to 21 over 4, find the value of k. Now here they have given a polynomial and they say that alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial. So let us first write the sum of this polynomial by relating the zeros to its coefficients. So we have the sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta is equal to, it is minus b over a. So b is the coefficient of x. So we can write minus 5 over a is the coefficient of x square. In this case it is 2. So we will write 2. So this is minus b over a. Next we will write product of the zeros that is alpha times beta which is given as c over a in terms of coefficients. So here c is the constant k, so we will write k over a is again going to be 2. So we have written the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros of the given polynomial. Now to find out the value of k, we are going to do small manipulation with sum of zeros. Now I am going to square on both these sides of alpha plus beta this way. Now using your algebraic identity, you can expand this and write it as alpha square plus beta square and plus 2 alpha beta. And this will be equal to, now minus 5 square becomes plus 25 and the denominator will also get squared. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now let us compare this expression which we have got to the expression they have given. Now we can see that alpha square, beta square is same, but here we need alpha beta, but here we have one more than alpha beta. So simply we are going to subtract one alpha beta from both the sides. So let me write here, so alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta, all these three terms are written same. Now minus alpha beta, this is an additional term, you have to subtract it on both the sides. Remember to do this manipulation. So is equal to 25 over 4 minus alpha beta. So this simplifies as alpha square plus beta square and these two are the like terms. So 2 alpha beta minus alpha beta gives us alpha beta is equal to 25 over 4 minus alpha beta. Now once we have got this, we are just going to plug in the value of this left hand side because alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta, they have given the value as 21 over 4. So let me write here 21 over 4 is equal to, now here we are going to write on the right hand side 25 over 4 minus alpha beta that is the product of the zeros we had got it as k over 2. So let us plug in here k over 2. Next we are going to take the minus k over 2 on the left hand side and taking the numbers on the right hand side minus k over 2 becomes plus k over 2 is equal to. 25 over 4 and plus 21 over 4 becomes minus 21 over 4. Now simplifying this further, we can write k over 2 is equal to, now the denominators are same, so you can subtract the numerators directly. So 25 minus 21 gives you 4 over 4. Now 4 over 4 cancels, that is 4 1 times, 4 1 times and cross multiplying 2 with 1 we get the value of k as 2. So here for this question, we got the value of k as 2. 
So for this question, we had to do a small manipulation. That is for the sum of zeros, we squared on both the sides, expanded it, and then we subtracted alpha beta from both the sides of the equal to sign. And then plugging in the values, we got the value of k. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked this video. If you know any other way of solving these examples, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.